Welcome to the world of ZIP System Building Enclosures, where we believe in striving for optimal air, water, and thermal management, no matter the region or climate. Because when you have the right products to do the right job the right way, the first time, you're building to a higher code, the ZIP Code. Today on The Build Show, I want to talk to you about a product that has come to our attention in the last year and a half, maybe two years, that uh, is just like the video I made about door stud. I didn't, door stud, I didn't think that it was something that was going to be for us. But the more I've played with it, the more I've had it around, the more I like it, and I'm glad we're, we're uh, using it. Let's talk about AirX, but let's start the conversation with air sealing and project management. Let's do it now. Okay, we are at our uh, cattle ranch project here in Lewisburg, Kansas. This is a uh, new construction that our company, Aero Building, is building just south of Kansas City. Uh, this is a custom new home that is all the bells and whistles when it comes to building science and it's also very pretty and well appointed and has all the bells and whistles from that standpoint so when we start talking about building a house some of the things that we talk about are the project management air sealing insulation windows energy efficiency all the things that we really shine on are that building science realm of stuff so this house does not have its insulation package in yet it has all of its mechanicals or very close to all of its mechanicals. There might even be people still walking by in the background working on mechanicals. But we have all of our penetrations in. We did a blower door test here last week. This house tested at 0.3 ACH50. That is one tenth of what is allowable by code in the market. And it is uh, half of what passive house allows for. So virtually no air leakage in the home. How do we get to virtually no air leakage in the home? Uh, it is a project management standpoint. So you can go back a few days ago or a couple weeks ago and watch a video about our uh, ceiling air barrier and our air control methods. We have zip on the walls, we have Myrex on the ceiling, we have um, hard connections between anything that goes through the ceiling or the wall with a sealant or a tape. Well, how do we get to that point? For starters, we deal with project management. So we have a rule that we refer to as one thing per hole, meaning if you have to take two line sets and a wire through the wall, they can't be in one big hole because trying to air seal between those multiple things going through a hole is very difficult. So our carpenter on the site, Lane, has taken and made a template in this instance for our line sets. We have uh, three sets of line sets in this house because we have three mini splits. So we have the line sets and the power, and you can see those are separate holes because if I put something through this hole, it's very easy to then seal around it. Same with the other two. But if these were all three through one larger diameter uh, drilled opening, it would be very difficult to make that connection. So this project management here is the reason that we have uh, very low air leakage. This is a Stephen Basic designed house. This is Aero Building being involved in the pre-con. All of this, or the majority of this, has been problem solved in the planning stage, and we bring all of our institutional knowledge from prior projects to this one to go, yeah, but if you do that, you're going to have a hard time. Yeah, if you do that, it's not going to be able to be sealed. I would do it like this. This is something that the Kansas City office came up with on their own that is knock it out of the park because it's not just drill the three holes. You can see the square here. It's also everything needs to feed to the, what we're going to talk about today, the AirX products. So it is, AirX has supplied us with these. They did give us all of these uh, in a hope that we would turn around and make some content for them. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I like their stuff. This is not something we would talk about if we didn't like what they have here. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different uh, caps that go on the wall. So this part mounts to the wall for us it's going to mount to a mounting block that's in on a, a rain screen so that we have a drainage space behind it. But this is what is actually coming off the wall or one of these guys. The difference here is diameter, what's coming through it, what are you going to do? You know, if you had a traditional HVAC uh, equipment with larger line sets, you might have one of these for each one of the line sets to get through here because you'd have a hard time squeezing it through one of the other ones. We happen to like the little guy here. Uh, they have it in white or gray. You can paint this if you need to. But where they shine is the connection between the wall to the unit. 
So this is a roll of um, material that they use. This is uh, UV stable, so now we're protecting all the foam on the line sets. How often do you have a line set that gets uh, chalky over time? And then we're able to wrap this around all the line sets and go from one end to the other. It has a Velcro system on the inside so that it will hold together. Uh, this is an outside corner, obviously. But we then can, we can order more of this if we have longer line sets outside. We can cut it to length. And now all of that is just a little bit cleaner, um, both aesthetically and physically cleaner because one pipe running through is better than two line sets and a line for when it comes to collecting dust or anything like that. This is project planning. And from my perspective, this is one of those things that is not necessary on every job. But if you're wanting to elevate where the job is, what it, what, what's happening on your job and what it's going to look like, the ability to just have everything else seem a little more planned out, a little better executed, a little cleaner looking, this is like that one step up. It's the, well, we're buying poplar, poplar trim and we're priming it and painting it on site instead of we're buying pre-primed uh, pine trim or something like that. It's one more little tool in the toolbox or tool in your tool belt that now you can apply it and go, yeah, the clients probably weren't gonna notice, but now that it's there, it does look nice and clean. Or our HVAC guy who's sneaking behind likes it because now everything is clean and tidy looking and he has ample opportunity to, you know, zip tie everything together, have it all surrounded in one little sleeve, cut that sleeve to the right length, have corners, have where it connects to the house. All of this just is one more level of project planning, one more level of building that, yeah, you could do without it. But if you buy it and you use them, uh, I think you'll understand that you're like, oh, I didn't realize that I was frustrated by that aspect of my building before, and now we have a simple solution. So till next time, check these guys out. Check out Eric's. They make some good stuff. We use it on most of our projects now. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out the Unbuild It podcast, now also on the Build Show Network. And uh, have a good day.